Sisters, uh, I was asked by a friend to do a review um, on my Helix hoop. Um, it's got, I think it was 15 different modes with 16 presets per modes. Um, some of the modes, actually like the rainbow one, it just does it at different speeds. So that's like one of the um, modes that they have. Um, my dad's talking in the background. <laughs> uh, so like most of the pros outweigh the cons. The only cons I have um, would be like the hoop does not collapse down at all. I tried collapsing it down so it's easier to carry. And it doesn't collapse down easily and then like um i had a lot of issues with the customer service and also the um the wait time was horrible um but other than that it's pretty simple um i got the 36 inch so like it's 36 diameter wise um i can't remember what i got for the um, actual, like, how thick the hoop was. I think it was, like, a three-quarter inch or whatever one they suggested. Um, it comes with the hoop, and then it also comes with a box, um, inside of it. That it comes with a core for the program on your computer. Um, a car charger. And then, um, wall plug. Seaming paper and it actually has instructions on how you flip through the modes and how you then do ultimate shuffle. Ultimate shuffle, you can actually change how fast it shuffles through. You can do it um, based on like one second, 20 seconds, um, and then also if a song is 120 beats per minute, you can put it to go and change to the quarter note or the eighth note or per measure, whatever you want to do. So you do have a lot of options with that. Right now I've been um, putting my hoop into a Christmas color preset mode. So I'm changing all my presets to Christmas ones and then like I just have to restore it and it'll go back to all the normal settings. Um, so, okay, it's going to be kind of hard to shoot this. <laughs> Um, you got three buttons on here. This would be your power, your mode, and preset. So, basic power. It'll start you off on red. And then this switches you into, I believe the fire mode is what it's called. And then that changes to the next preset. So this changes to the next mode. Preset. And then if you want to go into Ultimate Shuffle, you just hold down both of them, and it'll shuffle through. Um, so that's the basics on how to use it. Like I said, it, it is very hard to try to take apart, actually. Um, yeah. I don't like taking it apart. <laughs> I try to avoid it at all costs. Okay, so when you detach it, it has the little release nozzle thing here, and you just pull it apart. Um, the red thing that's sticking out plugs into the charger so that uh, you can charge it through wall or um, through the car. And then underneath there is a little USB cord. Uh, where it plugs into your computer. So I'm actually going to show you the program now because I haven't seen a video that shows the program. Once I can actually get it plugged in. <laughs> it's a pretty neat setup. Seeing the um, hula hoop plugged into the computer. <laughs> stuff on my desktop. Okay, one of the first things that wasn't explained to me is you actually have to have the hoop on in, uh, okay, hello, turn on hoop, oh, wrong button. <laughs> 
Okay, so the hula hoop has to be on. Actually, I'm gonna set, turn off the lights so that you can see the settings and what it's doing to the hoop. <laughs> okay, so on here, you have the Proton Labs preset. And there's a little thing in here where you click on the settings and you can actually put in your name. Okay, it's not showing up that good, but it shows your hoop name. You can change the brightness, um, all the different display stuff, and this is actually where you restore your stuff. Um, but say you wanted to change... Uh, like this shows your different strobes, so for this strobe, it shows the red with the blank in between, green blank in between, and blue with a blank in, in between, and white, and it asks you number col of colors used, and it's put to 8. The strobe speed is put all the way up, and so for that one. That's the one that shows, like, the red and green. Wow, this doesn't really show that good on video. <laughs> um, but, like, you can um, click through all of the different presets. And if you notice, um, looking from the inside of the hoop, you are not blinded by all the colors. But if I move to the outside of the hoop, it's a lot brighter, so you mainly just have to worry about the people that are on the outside of the hoop being able to see it. You'll be able to see the trails from the side, but not as clearly, so I guess that's kind of good because you don't want to be blinded while hooping. Um, there's a bunch of different like settings on here, so I'm not sure which ones to really go over. But, like, you can slow down, like, the rotation speed on here is, like, 2.52. So, say I want it to go slower. Now it's moving slower. And if I want it to, like, barely be moving, I can set it down to 37. You can see it kind of going around here. Um, say I want it, like, full speed. That's when the strobes come into effect. Sorry if anyone's up like this. <laughs> um, 191. It's moving slowly around the hoop, but not too fast. I'm just going to set this back to what it set up before. The sucky thing is clicking back to what you actually wanted it to be. Um, but it has so many different options that you can do. Um, I think one of my favorites has to be this rainbow setting. Um, it is preset or mode 13 preset 2. And basically, once you start moving it, um, it doesn't look like it's strobing. It actually just looks like it's staying in place. Um, Pretty much my review on the Helix is, I think it's a really great product. Um, it's actually really lightweight. Um, the only problem I have is a lot of people bump into it sometimes, and I've actually had a lot of people ask to use it, and I'm like, you don't know how much this hoop costs. It costs more than like one or two paychecks. <laughs> um, Ordering it's pretty easy, getting the information, and making sure it's actually um, shipping and when it will ship is extremely complicated. They don't update their tracking information enough. Um, personally, I think it was worth the money. A lot of people wouldn't think it's worth the money because there's actually a few companies that came out with um, basically the Helix Hoop except for it's like less money 
so I guess I should have waited, maybe, to have the same hoop, but um, I like all the qualities in this one, and it's very easy to work with, um, and yeah, I mean, it's overall a good hoop, um, not a starter hoop for anyone that's wondering. Um, there's better hoops to start with, so... Uh, that's pretty much just my review. Um, I really like all the patterns. I can put up some um, pictures or a link to my Facebook where you can see the um, different patterns it makes. Um, it makes endless patterns. Unfortunately, it doesn't make some of the patterns um, other hoops make. So, like, this one makes really awesome checkered ones, and it makes, like, the hoop look like it's not connected to itself, but... Um, there's a new hoop that came out that makes, like, the shape of heart, hearts and skulls, and this hoop doesn't do that, so I guess, like, that's kind of a doubt and fall there, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much my review on that, so if anyone else has any questions on how anything works on this, hopefully I described enough. I tried to hit on the points that aren't in other videos. I remember looking up the software and no one put up any videos of the software. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions.